Hello everybody, Pete Simons with Clean Slate Health and Wellness and I hope you're having a great one wherever you are. We're a little over halfway into January and like many of us, you've probably hit that wall. Um, you set New Year's resolutions for yourself, whether that's health, um, happiness, weight loss, weight gain, um, improving athletic performance, uh, improving your relationships, being a better person. And then it was just like, bam, procrastination hit. Subconscious mind says, hold up there. You're not going to change. You're not going to become new. You're not going to do something different. You're not going to lose weight. You're not going to feel better. You're not going to have better health. You're not going to be happier. You're not going to be a nicer guy. You're not going to be a better dad. So many things that your subconscious mind doesn't want to do because it doesn't like to change. So now is the time to reach out to a coach. You can reach out to Angie or myself at Clean Slate Health and Wellness. We can get you back on track. We can help you to see um, OTEs, original trauma events that may be underlying in most cases to prevent you from getting anything from health to performance to happiness. Um, depression, anxiety are all side effects of subconscious mind using procrastination and the body against us to keep us in the known because the subconscious mind does not like to step into the unknown. It does not like the new. It does not like to be out of its comfort zone. Even if that situation is bad, like I said in past videos, you can be in an abusive relationship. Your subconscious mind wants to stay there because you know it and it's safe and known to it, even if it could end up killing you. And that's the sad part. And that's where you need to realize we're halfway into January. You've probably hit the wall. Some people can go to February, March. Some people just have that determination and they already know they've already dealt with their OTs and they push through that and they achieve their New Year's resolutions. Um, again, avoid the word goals because goals means it's something you have to figure out. You have to figure out how to get it. You don't have it. Use the word choice. Choices because that is something that you can just choose to have because you already have it. You have all the power, knowledge, wisdom, and need or I should say needs or tools in you already to have every and anything you want. Obviously, you can't make somebody else change their mind about you or their mind, like making somebody fall in love with you, but you can increase your health. You can lose weight. You can gain muscle. You can be a better person. You can learn to be a better husband. You can do all these things. You can be a better dad. You can be a better worker. You can be a better person for yourself most importantly, because the number one relationship you have is with yourself. So now's the time, reach out to a coach, a therapist, somebody, reach out to Angie or myself at cleanslayhealthandwellness.com. Um, you can check me out on Facebook, Clean Slate Health and Wellness LLC. My Facebook group, Stuck in a Hole. Angie has Rising Above Trauma. She also has a meetup group, and so do I, Clean Slate Health and Wellness. Please reach out. Don't let this be another year where you struggle with health, weight, um, relationships, performance. We can help you. So reach out. Strength and courage is asking for help and guidance. Weakness is continuing to think you can do it because I'm telling you, your subconscious mind gets 95% of the power to make all daily actions and carry out thoughts and your conscious mind, the one that you set the choices and the resolutions with only gets 5%. So you need help and guidance. And that's not a bad thing. I need it. I lean on Angie. She leans on me. Find somebody that can help you. We can help you. Have a great day. Remember, you make your day. So make it a great one. And I'll see you in the next video.